right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about what it takes to run these uh, Cobalt SS's on E85. This has been my experience. I can tell you that running on E85, it'll be like a totally different animal. Your turbo will pull up faster. You'll have about, well, if you have the EFR or the ZZP turbo that they, the smallest one that they recommend, it's not the KO4 turbo, and it's their ZFR turbo, um, you get about 40 extra horsepower. That was uh, the experience that I had with it. Some of the things you're going to need to replace are a set of injectors. Now these injectors are opal injectors. They cost about roughly about 400 bucks and what they do they give you about 30 percent more fuel capacity. So when you're going to need that extra fuel because when you run the E85 uh, your car will require more fuel. We'll open the hood here. <clears throat> now, I also have this pump here, which is about a $500 pump. It's kind of expensive. It'll make sure that uh, you've got plenty of fuel for those uh, Opal injectors. Now, the Opal injectors are right down in here. They're, you can see them down there. You can kind of see in between there and there. They're really simple to install. You basically take your input, intake off, your charge pipes, remove this, this, this. It'll come right off. And you can probably do it in about, oh, I'd say about an hour. Now you don't really necessarily need this pump, but you may need it if you don't have the uh, extra tall lobe that comes with those cams. The stage two cams I have in here, it comes with the extra long lobe so it pushes your uh, your pump, your high pressure pump and gives you more fuel because on E85 you'll you'll need more fuel. You'll be able to advance your timing and it's, oh man, there's nothing like running E85. When, when you start running E85 you won't want to uh, go back to gasoline. We'll go to the website and we'll go over some of these uh, things you're going to need and we'll talk a little bit more about it. So one of the upgrades you're going to need is the three bar map sensors. If you're going to raise your boost level, um, most it's pretty safe to run these engines about 22 psi. Um, you can run them higher than that if you want, but you're going to blow out these uh, map sensors. So you want to upgrade those, and you can get those on ZZP's website. All right, so these are the Opal injectors they have on their website. You can see they're about 400 bucks and they'll give you about 13 percent uh, larger injectors so you'll be able to put more uh, fuel in there if, if uh, you don't want to do that you can always mix your E85 down to like E54 or whatever your tuner tunes your car for but you're going to need to get your car retuned if you're going to run an E85 in order to get the the maximum amount of power out of it. So this is the high pressure fuel pump that I have on my car. I guess it can support up to 600 wheel horsepower according to their uh, their website. And if you use uh, that, also you have to have the upgraded uh, fuel load to do that and the Opal injectors. And then uh, it said that it had no problem keeping the uh, rail pressure up there. So I don't know if you want to run that much horsepower or use that much fuel, but at least there's an upgraded fuel pump that you can you can purchase if you want to go that high. This is also an option uh, you can get using their AEM E85 high flow intake fuel pump. You'll have to remove your fuel uh, tank to put this to install this and maybe make some modifications to your uh, your tank uh, sending unit. But it's 125 bucks. I mean, I don't recommend that you go in there and, and replace this unless um, you're really going to go for high horsepower because I think your uh, factory fuel pump will be fine. But uh, anyway, if you're thinking about upgrading, this would be another upgrade. All right, so conclu in conclusion, if you're going to run your car on E85, you definitely have to have it professionally uh, tuned. Whether you're running your KO4 turbo, which is a stock one, or a ZFR turbo, um, it also it'll you have to change your fueling on your injectors. Also, you'll have to change your timing. 
to get the maximum amount out of E85. E85 is a lot of fun. You need to also need to test it. And maybe I'll do that right now. We'll do a little test on E85 and I'll show you what my uh, percentage of E85 that I have from the gas station. All right, this is my little bottle I got. And uh, you can see it is marked at the bottom there. There's a little line for where you fill the water and then there's also a line to where you fill the fuel. And then you, it'll show you exactly how much E85 is in your fuel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what uh, my percentage of E85 of ethanol is in my fuel. So if you're wondering what I used to test my fuel, this would be it. Uh, it's called Fuel It. It's an ethyl con content tester and you can get it at www.fuel-it.com and it comes with uh, the vial and these two little squeeze bottles so you can squeeze the right amount of water and fuel in there to test it. And right now it's uh, settling and we're going to see what it is. All right, so we're looking at it. I don't know if you can really tell, but you can see how it's kind of hazy at the bottom. But the E85 are running, it's close to 90%, which is awesome. So if you get a good station, gas station that has a good E85 in Arizona, it's kind of hard to find. And so I found this place and uh, it's on Val Vista and Broadway and it has awesome fuel there. So anyway, that's kind of how you test your E85. Just a little water and the E85 and you put it in there and you just shake it up and let it settle and it'll tell you exactly what your E85 is so that's it okay one thing I forgot to mention was that uh, you might want to get a new PCM if you're gonna do the E85 what's nice about this is since you really can't uh, you could download it through some kind of a tuner setup but for me it was just easier to get a whole new PCM so I store my E85 tune on one of these right now that's what's in my car but this is this is the one that I'm using for my 91 octane here in Arizona that's that's what we have is 91 so I hope you like this video if you uh, thought it was helpful please like and subscribe and we'll be doing more videos and we sure appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you next time